Tyson. Tyson was only a kid. In six years, he's had like seven professional fights, Tim, so I don't know how dedicated he is. All right, well, we're ready for round number one. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape quickly. Mercer came in at 213, Evans at 211. He's 34 years of age, but as we said, just seven professional fights with four knockouts, although he does have a good amateur career behind him. And we're ready to go with round number one. <laughs> referee once again is Tony Orlando and Ray Mercer in the black. Al Chico Evans in the white. Evans, a 45 and 12 amateur career, including uh, that victory over Tyson when he was 15 years of age, when Tyson was 15. And since that time, uh, after a few injuries, some of them non-boxing related, and then one in the Olympic trials back in 1982, he broke his arm against James of Pritchard, uh, pardon me, in 1984 in the Olympic trials, so his pro career has been delayed and uh, subsequently he has had seven professional fights and is just four and three. So uh, Ray Mercer, uh, whether he'll uh, get the kind of interesting test that Maynard got, we'll find out. Well, Tim, I know that Evans has been down in Houston in that training camp down there. His trainer says he's in real good condition. But he had better be if Mercer lands one of those bombs. Evans uh, stopped in two rounds by Derek Williams at last outing in April of this year. Been a professional since 1986, but obviously not a terribly active one. I jumped back from the Mercer knows he can hurt you with that big bomb, and he just seems to stalk you, stalk you, wait, and he throws very accurate punches when he throws them. Step back. Ray Mercer in round one here with uh, about a minute remaining now. Scheduled for six. Earlier we saw Andrew Maynard, the Olympic gold medalist at the light heavyweight. Good right hand, good right hand by Evans. Maynard a third round knockout of Greg Towns to run his record of 6-0 as a pro. This is our second bout of the afternoon. And Mercer putting the pressure on Evans. When he gets you hurt, Tim. Huge right hand you. got through and a left behind it. Here's the guy that wants to fight Tyson. Mercer trying to keep Evans right there in front of him. now uh, takes a left uppercut and a right hand and down he goes in some trouble obviously bravely gets to his feet here but doesn't look like he's got much under him tony orlando the referee will watch him closely another right hand by mercer and that's it a straight right hand by ray mercer sends al chico evans to the canvas and that'll be all Ray Mercer with his fifth knockout in six professional bouts. Once he had Evans pinned on the ropes over there, Gil, uh, it was all over. Tim, every time we every time we see Mercer, somebody's falling down. <laughs> I mean, six straight knockouts in the Olympics. Every time he hits somebody in the pros, one guy went the distance. I would like to have seen that fight <laughs> because when he hits you, boy, you go. Well, Ray Mercer, the kind of a guy who really. Uh, has a head on his shoulders and uh, his sights set firmly on the goal of the heavyweight title. Don't forget, he didn't start to box until 1983, less than six years ago, and once he got him pinned against the ropes. And a straight right, right on the button. He flew through the air, Tim. He looked like a bird going down. Well, that was the uh, second knockdown. He didn't uh, get up from that one. Now we're going back into the action here to the First knockdown, combination on the ropes, and then a right hand for good measure right to his ear as he was on the way down. And another look at that uh, second knockdown, the one that uh, referee Tony Orlando stepped in and said, that's enough. Let's get this guy out of here, hopefully in reasonably good shape. And he's being attended to by the doctors right now, and apparently uh, 
Evans uh, is all right. There's your check. Ray Mercer was waiting to come back. I was kind of kidding. You're not getting enough work here. You're taking easy money, it seems to me. All these short knockouts. Well, you know, this, in a way, they're good. But then, in, in, in other words, I only get, like, for a first-round knockout, I only get two days off. <laughs> if I go to this, I get three days. So, you know, coach don't want me to go in there and play around trying to get three days off. So I'm working on the two. That's it. You've got a tough training staff, I can see. But... Uh, each each time uh, that you're in there, though, it is a learning experience for you. Ray, what were your feelings about today? What'd you like about yourself? Oh, today I just I just I just kept patient, and uh, the guy kept hitting me like to the back of the head, and he hit me with a couple of hard blows. But I just I, you know I just stayed in there, and in the boxing game you're gonna get hit, so I just I just took my time and waited for the opening, and I took it. Once you got him on the ropes, uh, it was really all over here, and I think that's uh, one of the things you have a good instinct for being able to to finish him, as we see the uh, first knockdown. Oh yeah, I knew once I hit him with uh, two hard punches, he's gonna get moving his head and he wasn't gonna see where the punches were coming from. So I'd rather get him on the ropes and get their head to moving. That way they don't know what hit him. And then it was just one more uh, straight right hand that uh, finished him off. And we congratulate you on another outstanding victory, Ray. Uh, Tyson's still in your sights? Uh, Tyson's always gonna be in my sights. Whoever has the title is in my sights. And, I'm, and my destination is where the title is. So whoever has it, watch out. All right, Ray Mercer, congratulations. Another fine performance. He is